camped out here somewhere in this rotted alley of nightmares. But I'll find him. Him and the fragments he's collected. He's after those rocks we've been bringing you. First, he got Vulture and Hammerhead, and now he's headed here. I'm telling you, Mr. Osborne, the Spider-Man is coming. Do you take me for a fool? <laughs> what? I want him to come. Let the spider fall into my web. The other fragments made Hammerhead and Vulture more powerful. Let's see what this one does for me. I've waited a long time for this, Osborne. Tonight, your criminal empire ends. Dun dun dun! Welcome, Spider Man. Look around. Know where you are. A demilitarized zone? The carnival where I once starred in the freak show many years ago. The perfect place to begin my revenge. Great idea. But when I came back, I had to relocate the current employees to more temporary lodgings. And I do mean temporary. I have this unfortunate tendency to kill things when I'm born. <laughs> You'll see. Wrong, Gobbler. Because I'm going to find him. And I'm going to save him. Then I'm going to find you and put you down like the wild dog you are. And last but not least, I'm going to bring back the fragment. Starting now. All right, ahoy, Let's Watchers, it's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. This has been a very complicated episode to produce, uh, to be honest. Um, it's involved the use of time travel, in fact, for I am speaking to you from the future. Well, the future of when I recorded all of the rest of this video. Um, as I will say later, it's kind of a complicated issue, but hopefully it will make sense as you watch it and begin to process all the information. Uh, the reason I had to record the video and audio separately is because I had to try and uh, accomplish this challenge more times than I care to remember or count. Um, even here in the uh, section recorded for the episode, there are multiple attempts. So, the way it works is that um, one of the challenges for the level is to do 10 stealth takedowns in a row without being detected. Um, as I've demonstrated, I'm not very good at the war levels. Uh, so this is very difficult for me, and uh, this being the third noir level, uh, they've done a very good job of setting it up for that to be a difficult challenge to accomplish. Uh, so, great chiefly, the difficulty change. comes from the placement of the enemies. They're mostly facing towards each other or located close enough to one another that it's very difficult to take down a number of them without being detected. Uh, this was a really embarrassing failure on my part, because I managed to set up a, uh, a sort of pattern that I could consistently do to take down several enemies in a row, and I was well on my way towards accomplishing that challenge until I just accidentally missed that ledge and got detected by some guy looking in my direction. So, my pattern starts here, by the, uh, I don't know, swinging chairs or whatever this is supposed to be? There's two guys in this clearing, and uh, you want to take this guy closest to the gate down first, but you have to wait until his friend isn't facing in this direction, or he'll immediately detect you. Uh, once you've taken down the first guy, you hop over here, but uh, the fireworks that light up this area intermittently are gonna fire off shortly thereafter. So you wanna take a second, wait for him to turn around so he won't spot you standing on the building right next to him in the uh, effective broad daylight at night, and then you wanna take him down. Alright, once you've done that, I suggest heading over to the tower on the other side of the courtyard, closest to where you start. And, uh, there's two guys up here. Uh, one of them, it's actually really convenient to, uh, perform an up-close takedown, but the key is to start with his friend. Because if you don't take his friend out, then his friend is gonna notice you taking him down pretty much every time. It's very difficult to avoid getting detected that way. Uh, so once you've taken that guy down, wait for the fireworks to clear again. And then you're free and clear to sneak up behind that guy and take him down up close. Now, why would you go out of your way to do such a difficult takedown, you're probably asking, when uh, you've admitted that you're pretty terrible at this game and already find this challenge difficult enough? 
Well, there is another challenge in this level that requires you to perform one of every type of takedown throughout the level. Um, since that's such a difficult type of takedown to do, I find it's nice to uh, take advantage of a spot where it's relatively convenient to do that, uh, even though, you know, it, it happens to fall in the same pattern that uh, accomplishes the other most difficult takedown challenge of the level. Alright, once that's done, you head to the, uh, the same side of the courtyard, but at the very back, there's this castle-looking thing. There actually aren't any guards inside of it, um, so you can take down the, uh, the guards near those perch points that you just saw there. There's one in front of the castle and one off to the side, and uh, it's, it's pretty rare that you'll get detected doing that uh, as long as you mind the fireworks. The fire... Try, trying to stay out of the light of the fireworks is definitely key for getting this section done effectively. Once that's done, there's a there's a building close to the castle where there's two guys standing guard. Um, and you'll, you'll want to take out this guy in the shadow first. Uh, I make a mistake here. I land too close to him and he detects me right away, which blows my uh, ten in a row challenge once again. So I have to start over. But... Um, the thing is, there's uh, there's yet another takedown challenge, which which asks you to uh, perform five high ground takedowns. So you're on like a sentry, you're on top of a building, and there's some guy on the ground near you, and you perform a takedown. It's it's the type of takedown I'm about to perform here, right here. There you go. Um, so since I want to do five of those, I noticed through my practice playthroughs of this level and I accidentally find my way onto this spinning device. Whee! It's very fun. It's a nice uh, interlude. So I found that uh, on that say on that sort of left-hand side of the level, when you're facing it from that front gateway, um, there's an area where you can perform two high ground takedowns on enemies right next to each other, and uh, they actually won't detect you, even I as long as you do it in the right order. So they won't detect you even though they're like standing right next to each other. It's super useful for you know, getting almost half of the takedowns for that challenge, which is reasonably difficult. Um, the problem I found with that is that um, you will be detected by their friends on top of that building that I showed off at the very end of that last attempt through the start of this level. Um, conveniently, though, um, there is you, you can follow this path that I've created here, and um, you, you can get all the way... It, once you've taken down those guys in the, at the castle and everything, you, you can actually take down those guys who are watching the ones you can perform the high ground takedowns on. And uh, once you do that, then you're free and clear to do those high ground takedowns and there's, there's no one around to spot you. So if you can take down those two guys successfully, and then circle around to, um, to the right side of where you can take them down, I'll, I'll try and paint you a better picture of it when we get there, because it's kind of difficult to explain. But uh, as, as long as you're careful in uh, maneuvering this level, and you follow this path, and you mind the fireworks, <laughs> if you can keep all of that in mind, then you can fairly consistently do this uh, ten takedowns in a row. It took me a really long time to figure out this pattern, but I'm really proud of it, because it, it is consistent. Um, you know, it, it does require a certain amount of skill, so um, it, it is still challenging. Um, so, you know, it, it may require some practice on your part if you're bad at the noir levels like I am. But, uh, if you follow this pattern and you do everything right, then yeah, you will definitely be able to accomplish this challenge. Uh, right, so here's the part I was mentioning before, the circling around. So, you know, obviously you want to mind the fireworks while this bit is going on, because they could, they could sort of detect you, um, as you circle around. So I think here I, I wait for a minute for the fireworks to pass just to be on the safe side. Because, as I mentioned, I've had a lot of trouble trying to accomplish this this, uh, this challenge. So way. here we go. Here's the fireworks. And, um, they look really pretty. Ooh. Ah. Not even the 4th of July. So here we go. Here, here we are. We, there's two guys. They're standing, like, right next to each other. And I'm performing a high ground takedown here. His friend doesn't give a crap. He's like, I never really liked Billy anyway. So then you go over here and you're like, well, here's what you get for not caring about your friend Billy. Bam. Feet to the face. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. Congratulations, you just did, like, the hardest challenge ever. Good work. Welcome back, Let's Watchers. This time, it's me live. Yeah, it's kind of weird what I'm doing right now, but, um, I, you know, hopefully I've done a pretty good job explaining it so far from the future. Yeah, it'll make sense, or it won't. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is I've completed that super, super difficult challenge. I, like, literally just spent an hour just 
like recording myself playing the first like six minutes of this level trying to beat that challenge and I finally did it because I figured out that super cool pathway that actually lets me do it now um, if I haven't already made the complaint I, I dislike that this is definitely the best place in the level for you to try and take care of this stealthiest challenge and it's way out here at the edge of the web I disapprove uh, so what can I actually look at? I've never actually done the level this way where I've done that challenge first. So, here's a thing that happens later in the level, rescue a civilian, here's something that happens in the final boss fight, here's something that happens like halfway through the level, here's something that similarly happens about halfway through the level, and then of course here's the, uh, the challenge we actually get to see at the start of the level, which is three civilians rescued. Um, I think it's actually kind of funny that Goblin uh, says, you know, oh, like, I needed to relocate everyone who works in this theme park, because apparently everyone is three people. Three people run this entire carnival. That's cool. Anyway, let's get back to business. And by business, I mean, like, not killing myself, because I actually freaking figured out a cool way to finish that challenge. I feel awesome right now. Like I said, I have been, I have been, like, killing myself trying to do that challenge. And now, I don't give a crap if I get detected. There are people in danger all over the place. Which, uh, if you haven't already noticed, is, is sort of my preferred style of playing a Spider-Man Noir level. I.e., not well. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for the fireworks to go off again. Just cause, like, oh my god, the fireworks are such a pain. Like, I'm really torn. Cause, like, the level design for this entire level is pretty sweet. Like, the fact, like, incorporating fireworks as a way to intermittently have lights sort of, like, give your location away to enemies in a noir level? Like, that's brilliant. Like, that's really cool. The only problem is, that's really annoying to deal with. Like, it makes this level, level, or at least this part of this level, super difficult and unpleasant to try and play through. Can I take you down from here? No, I can't. Can take you down from here! Um, yeah, I probably haven't mentioned... Or maybe I have, I don't know. Um, that there is another challenge. Hmm, what's the best way to take this guy down? I choose this way. Boom. Haha. <laughs> Enjoy the wall. Still haven't been detected, which is miraculous, because holy crap. This guy I want to take down from up here. Uh, yeah, there's actually a couple of takedown challenges for this level, unsurprisingly. I hear ya. On my way. Ah, good. Here's another one that makes it easier to explain. Uh, I've, I've, I, blah, 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 I can talk, I promise. So, uh, along with plotting a path of sort of least resistance through enemies that won't detect one another, I also managed to find several who I could take down from above. Uh, which is convenient because one of the challenges for this level is to do five high ground, air quotes, takedowns. Uh, which means that... Uh, you, you take them down from above, but not while perched or on a wall. So, like, essentially, if if we were standing on different levels of the roof of a split-level house, I'm on the top, you're on one of the lower sections of the roof, I perform a takedown on you, that's a high ground takedown. That's not a very good explanation, but shut up. Um, yeah, I'm already about halfway through the takedowns I need to do for the level, but then, you know, there's not a lot of takedowns to do, so I really just sort of clear out everyone for the most part in this level. Okay, so, another one of the types of takedowns challenges is to do all six different types of takedowns during the course of the level. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably already touched on the fact that that's why I was, like, sneaking up on that one guy, even though it was way not the easiest way to take him down. Um... But so yeah, so the six types, it lists conveniently for us here. On the ground, definitely done that one. Uh, up close, did that. On a wall, uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Actually, which one am I missing? I feel like I haven't done... Oh, on a wall probably means up against a wall. Crawling is the one I need to do. I've done a perched, I've done from above, obviously. Yeah, crawling is definitely the one I need to do, because I haven't done one while crawling on a wall. That's why I got confused with it being on a wall. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. 
Web Strike Evades is the final boss. It's also the final boss. There's like three challenges for the final boss. I think they recognize how preposterously difficult all these takedown challenges were. So at the end, they're like, you know, if you beat him, you get like six, you get six challenges. It's you get like a bunch of points. Uh, I think that's all the new stuff I could see. Uh, so let's get back to taking people out. Uh, what I like to do personally is to save um, rescuing all the civilians until I've sort of like cleared out the area because like I don't know but my, my inclination when I have the civilians is always to like jump and swing my way over to uh, wherever I need to be as quick as possible which like totally takes me through like spotlights and, and fireworks and bullcrap so like I hate this area. I've been avoiding this place like the plague. This place is the worst. I hate this place. Like, here's where the guards are set up to, like, totally best to detect you. Why would I turn off spider sense? Uh... Save me. Somebody save me. Right. There's, like, a fucking wall there. I oh, him. that guy saw me. There goes my streak. <laughs> I don't care, because I already I did the hard thing. Anyone who can see me from here? No, they're still looking for me. That's going on. Oh, that guy's totally gonna spot me. Cause like noir vision works that way. If there's like a source of light and me, then like I'm automatically detected. Come on, what do you Take this guy down. Somehow his friend doesn't notice. I really, I don't... It's so inconsistent when you are and aren't detected by a guy who's like five feet away. It really bothers me. It's honestly probably my biggest gripe with the uh, stealth takedown system, despite the fact that I'm just not a big fan of it in general. Now, all of a sudden I'm like a pro. I think all that like practice I had to do for that one challenge just made me awesome at this. Oh, that was skillful. That was that was awesome. I didn't get... I totally should have got caught there. I wanted to get up on this wall so I could take this guy down from, like, wall crawling. Now turn around. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me. I did all six types of takedowns. Bite me, level. Uh, does that unlock anything interesting? No, that unlocks hidden spiders. I honestly don't remember the... I've spent so much time focused on that one challenge that, like, I have no idea what the rest of the web looks like off the top of my head anymore. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I think I have access to all the web ones. Are there more takedown related ones other than quantity, which I can't do yet? I'm pretty sure. Either way, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take down everyone. I've I've already said that, yeah, I've suggested rather that I'm gonna take down everyone, and that's sort of my plan. That's, that's how I usually do this level. Hi there. I'm gonna take you down. Or rather, I guess I'm gonna take you up because I'm up here. And you're down there. Sleep it off. Oh, I forgot there was a guy there. I'm like doing all these like takedowns, just running around through the light, and he's just like, I don't care. I don't give a crap. Gotta save those people. Yeah, I was gonna be really like horrified if that guy. Oh wow. No, this is bad. This is bad. Urgh. Accidentally got a hidden spider, so there's that hidden spider there. Oh, didn't remember there being a guy here either. Oh well, he's gone now. <laughs> oh man, I am like high off of takedowns. This is awesome. I'm doing so good at this level, I don't care that I've been detected like five times. Like, You're watching this. You see the video evidence of me not sucking at stealth takedowns. It's glorious. I want to take a bath in takedowns right now. Although I don't really want to do that, because it'd be all, like, sticky from webs and stuff. It'd be gross. Why would you even suggest that? You're weird. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, wondering around, like, Part of my great confused, like, jerk chance. pants. Here's another hidden spider. Uh, I'm looking for spider emblems. There's not a ton in this level. Uh, probably evidenced by the fact that the total you need to collect is 15. Which is, you know, not a big number. Uh, and I have no recollection of where they are. Just absolutely none. I've sort of just, in the past, just, like, wandered around and picked them up wherever I found them. Uh, how many do I have, pause screen? I have ten. 
I know when I played my first practice run of this level, which is the one that sort of, of triggered me to have my freak out about doing that gyms. mission, um, or rather challenge the, uh, stealthiest, I think it's called. Um, in that place where I managed to get 14 spider emblems in this first section, so there must be that many around here. Here's the door to the next area, by the way. It doesn't open until you free all the guys, so there's that. There's another spider emblem just for me. Just for me, not for you. Oh, God, it's so bright over here. I just hate this place. Can I, t can I take you down? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Chinatown. Population your face. That's not even a good zinger. Here's another spider hey, emblem. On my way. Is there one, like, on top of this? I don't think there is. Uh, well, I've taken down everyone, so I'm just gonna run around. I don't care about these stupid fireworks anymore. There's absolutely no one left to defend this area. There are people in danger all over the place. Yoink! Come with me if you want to live. Who are you talking to, goblin? You don't make any sense. Whoop. Now, you want to be careful when you bring the civilians back to this um, glowing spot on the other side of the wall. Uh, because, well, if you suck like me, then you might accidentally just jump in the water. Remember that thing that happened in um, in the Deadpool level? When I was just, like, talking and, like, making my way towards this platform by swinging, and then all of a sudden I just sort of fell into the water and immediately died for, like, no good reason at all? Yeah. I, I, I've, I've done that in this level, too. Uh, definitely a possibility. And that's really annoying, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you've gathered that that would be an annoying thing to have happen. Or jump. I don't know what this noise is, but it's not pleasant. Hoogaki! Please stop jumping between the points. I hate... It's one of the things I don't like about the perch system. Is that it just sort of assumes that you always want to be perched whenever possible, and that's hardly true. And that causes some, like, occasional really annoying weird situations. Uh... I don't know, how many do I have now? Thirteen? That's good enough. I don't remember wherever the fourteenth one that I picked up was. I guess I'll check, like, the top areas of this, like, annoying compound. This could have been up here. Uh, but yeah, like... I really... I love the idea behind this section of the Somebody level. It's like, really, a cool thing. I, like, hopefully you think this is a cool thing to watch, because, like, I, I think it looks really cool, and it's a cool idea. Like, I like the fact that, you know, you have the whole, like, circus freak vibe going on with all the noir villains, and then you, like, go to a creepy circus, and then, um... You know, they, they just make sort of good use, and you'll see throughout the rest of the level, that they make good use of the the theme in terms of gameplay. I mean, like, some of it's not, like, super brilliant, but I, I really like, um... I like the fireworks thing. I think that's really clever. Uh, I'm gonna drop this guy in this thing, and there's a cutscene. Cheery. So yeah, now that I've saved all the civilians, he like shuts off the lights and I think he turns off the rides too. Like I don't think the uh, you know the carousel and stuff they're not spinning anymore. Um, fun fact: you can in fact ride around on these cars. Uh, you know before this happens, it's kind of fun. It makes you super dizzy. Uh, it's kind of unpleasant. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna call it quits once we uh, get through this next little cutscene here, just because of all the preparation I had to do to make this episode possible. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Honestly, I've actually enjoyed it in the long run. It was super frustrating at first, but it was a really good feeling to get it done. So let's go here. You make it sound so. Behold, the goblin in all his glory, stronger. More powerful! And that hair, it's scarier than ever. I'll give you something to be scared of. Uh -oh. Dodge move. Time for the punching of your face. 
I want to I want to write a ballad for Goblin called The Punching of Your Face. But only Noir Goblin. So like it will probably have references to that weird You're glowing static. Spot. And you thought you could beat me. I'm pretty sure I just did beat you. Oh, oh no wait, ow. Give it your best shot then. If you can, come and get your superior. The Goblin Victorious! Alright, so as I said, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna cut the episode here. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave comments for me. Let me know what you think of everything that's going on. How much you like Spider-Man and this cool level and everything. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with a weird thing that happened during my practice run that I thought was really funny. Watch how long it takes this guy to find me while looking directly at me. That's part of my great history. Jonesy, it's the spider guy. Caught. Better dust. Gotcha. I lost him. How'd he do that? I lost him in the shadows. Raz it. He got away. Raz it. He got away. Did you see where he went? No rush, Spider-Man. They're over. <laughs>